Hi, and welcome to episode five of the Spindle Saga podcast. Today is Sunday, March 15th, 2015, and I'm Jessica, also known as Jesse Nareem on Ravelry. And I'm Amanda, as also known as OB Tiger 2011 on Ravelry. Thank, so we want to thank you guys for coming out and watching us today. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for watching us again. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for coming to check us out. We now have a Ravelry group called uh, the Spindle Saga Podcast. Um, and I'll link it in the show notes so you guys can come and join our Ravelry group. I think we're up to 23 people. So yay! yay! 23! Which is so thank exciting. Thank you for, for joining. And for, please feel free to like introduce yourself. I know I've had a couple people introduce themselves. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, come share what you're knitting or spinning or whatever. Whatever your Ravelry craft is. Yeah, so come, come check us out. All right, so let's see here. Um, so Amanda's back this week, which Yay! is so exciting. And where were you last week? It was... I was in Florida. My brother is a, a Disney intern in Florida, and he uh, has been away since January, so was, I haven't seen him in a few months, and that's like his first time away from home. So uh, it was really nice seeing him, and we, got, we did the Florida sites, went to the Kennedy Space. Uh, center and then we went to uh, Hollywood Studios and did the Star Wars rides because Star Wars is coming so up. Exciting. It's so exciting. Um, got a nerd on um, in Harry Potter world and totally got a wand and uh, pumpkin juice is awesome. It's so yummy. Yeah, that's right. You you said that's probably yeah, your that's, favorite. That's my favorite. I tried the butterbeer and I tried gilly water which gilly water is just Water. But that... in Harry Potter world, it's Gilly Water. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if that was but, like a uh, new thing or not. Yeah. Did they rename it it's Gilly Water? All, the, all their water is Gilly Water okay. from Harry Potter. But, uh, but this was your second time. This is my second time, but this is the first time I went when they had all the Hogwarts train and uh, Diagon Alley. It was so cool. They did such a great job. It was so cool how they manipulated architecture to make everything look bigger than it was. And when you got to the bank, it was huge. And there's the dragon breathing fire, which like you could feel the heat from that fire, even though it's like way up there. You're just like, oh, there's the dragon. <laughs> But uh, it was really cool, and of course the Harry Potter rides are the best rides I've ever been on. I've been on quite a few rides, so yeah. um, though I, I know I, there's a special place in my heart for the Star Wars rides. I love the Star Wars rides. Hey, but, uh, to each his own, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Got to see him. Got to see uh, what he's doing, and um, he wants to uh, eventually go back uh, as you know an animator. So. Uh, we'll see how where that goes and awesome. how it goes, you know, once you graduate school and everything. So, That's yeah, cool. it was a lot of fun. Cool spring break. So. Yes, yes, because for those of you, some of us had spring break last week. Like my sister and mom, they have it next week or this coming week. They just started spring break. Yeah. And I just finished. So, you yeah. know, I had to be different. Yeah. But I had your, I, I had the same spring break as you. Yeah. But. You got, and what did, you did babysitting. Yeah, so, I, I babysat all week. See, I went on vacation and spent money. She stayed home and got money. Which of us is smarter? Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. But, but anyway, so this is a knitting and a spinning podcast. And so, um, so yeah, I, I could start with. As you can't see, words. I am spinning, but it's kind of, low, my, my spinning wheel is low to the ground, so. If I yeah. look like I'm doing nothing, I'm actually doing something. I'm actually spinning. What are, well, here, do you want to start? You want to start with what? Sure. What, I am spinning, what spinning. I'm spinning Raj um, on my spinning wheel, and it's from Two If I Hand. Let's see if I get the. Sorry for the crinkling. Two If I Hand. It's Raj, and uh, this is organic merino. So it's really soft. Um, and as you probably have seen, if you've seen our other videos, we like Two If By Hand. Yeah. So, um, but actually, um, this is my last two if by hand braid that I have. But it's okay. I spun it all. Because so we're going to see them. We're going to go see them this uh, this weekend, this coming weekend. So. Or you can shop um, in my room. I can like shop store. in your room. I have like a um, store. So I'll get to fill up my trunk again because it's, it's a little lonely. There's no fiber in it. It's I know. So sad. Can you imagine not having any fiber? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> Actually, probably in about two years, I won't have any fiber because 
when I go back to school, I probably won't be able to buy any, so. Yeah. That'll hey. be an interesting goal. Graduate OT yeah. school with, you know, a lot of debt and no fiber. Yeah, you know, that'll be an hey, interesting goal. you know, that's, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of debt, no fiber. But yeah. Hey, that works. Yeah, but yeah, I love Raj. It has lots of greens and blues, and it's just so pretty. Purples yeah, every once in a while. I can't wait. They, they love to make Big Bang Theory references right now with all their fiber. Yeah. And I, have, it's a I did it's a tiara. I did that one. That's that was so, so fun. cute. I and love the, the name. And the colors are perfect. They're like pink and purple. Like yeah. Jessica colors. Definitely. But they have so they came out with a bunch of them and I never knew where the references were for, but I just got this the Blu-ray box set Blue on Wednesday. Yeah. And so I've been watching all the episodes because it's been spring break and I haven't had a lot to do. Hey, and spring so, break is for binge watching TV shows. Exactly. Right? And knitting, apparently. And knitting. And studying like a psycho. But, yeah. you know, that happens. Yeah. Well, so now I started to get all of the colors. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I want life without whimsy. Because yeah. apparently, so there's an episode where Penny asks Sheldon if he'll go get go to like get coffee and he says you know I don't drink coffee and she's like well how about hot chocolate he's like oh well I drink hot chocolate but I only drink hot chocolate in months that have an R in them and she's she asks him why and he says well what's life without whimsy <laughs> and so I'm like I really want that color now Aww. life without whimsy very cute yeah so yeah I really hope that color is there and knitting a pair of pants did you see that episode? I did not. Oh my gosh, but... I think I have to find it and watch it. Okay. It was the beginning of this season though. It's after they tell... This was at the end of last season, so sorry if this is a spoiler for you. But the end of season six, when they Penny and Leonard get engaged, mm -hmm. and they tell Sheldon, you know, eventually they're probably going to live together because yeah. they want to get married, and Sheldon goes on a train for like months at a time, and he runs away. And when he comes Aww. back, he comes back because he got mugged and all of his belongings were taken, including his pants. And he sees this lady knitting and he's like, are you knitting a pair of pants? <laughs> and she just runs away from him because, I mean, he's kind of creepy. He's just staying there with no pants on. Well, like, to be I, honest, Sheldon's creepy whether he has clothes on or not. not. But yeah, <laughs> that kind of adds to his creepy homeless. Yeah. Look well, <laughs> maybe that's where the inspiration came with now, like, Ravelry is doing the whole knitting shorts. Maybe. And, like, everyone's, like, posting that. I'm like, why would you want to knit shorts? Like, that just Good luck. seems if you want to so knit shorts, uncomfortable. You're awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think yeah, I'm, it hasn't I'm not hit that me yet comfortable. Too, uh, want to do that. But I did show the picture to my dad. I was like, so, would you wear them? He's like, only if you made them. I wear them once. <laughs> Just to be nice. <laughs> wear them once to I be I was like, aww, my dad's really nice. And that, yeah, but, yeah. I was like, you could wear them in India next time you're there. <laughs> Crazy American with his knitted shorts. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. not for me. What else are you working on? Are you working on anything knitting-wise? Um, knitting-wise, I am working on something. I have, of course, my... Queens of Darkness bag that I got from you, and, which is so fitting because we just watched Once Upon a Time because yeah, I had to and catch it up. all of them and it, it has them boom, all. Boom, boom, well, boom, except boom. except her, oh, she's not. Yeah. I'm hoping she'll yes. turn up. Yes. Come on, we need the tangled lady. Yeah, we need. Uh, does she even have a name? Oh, uh, she, no, does. she does. Mom Gothel, Mother Gothel. Oh. But yeah, oh. I am working um, on this shawl, and it's oh goodness, what's the name? Starts with an M. Montana. Ma yes. What is the it? state? Isn't it the no, Montana no. show? Or is that the other one? This is the that one that everyone's did on Ravelry. Oh, Multnomah. Multnomah. There we go, Multnomah. Um, so well, I'm getting that. to uh, the ruffles. but um, So I'm starting that. And I have my little Harry Potter stitch mm. markers. What's that out of? Uh, this I is uh, Madeline Tosh, and it is Starry Night for the Harry Potter group. Starry uh, Night. That's um, and it's Tosh Marina Light. Okay. Super Wash Marina Wool. Oh, so I like that. Yeah. Color. You know, me and blue. We, it's really it's, pretty. Yeah, that is a really I love the colors. Color. And I love that yarn for shawls. Mm -hmm. It drapes really nicely yeah. and blocks really nicely. I'm excited. I would know if I would finish the shawl I started a year and a half ago out of that oh. yarn. Not that colorway, but I started a shawl. I found it today. Yeah. I've already noticed I have some castle hairs in my yarn. Oh. But hey, you know, I love castle, so. 
That's my dog, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. Here he is. He's on the back of my phone. He's adorable. He's adorable. He's also my avatar. He's my dog. He's a... He's adorable. He's an Australian Shepherd, for those of you who would like to know. Yeah. And he is two. Right? He's two. He's yeah. two. Yeah, he's two. But you wouldn't know it. He still acts like a puppy. Yeah. Well, I've just decided that dogs, because even my 16-year-old dog, who I don't have anymore, she, um... She was still a puppy even when she was 16. So I've decided that dogs are like, they're children that just stay little forever. And cats are like children that are children for, you know, six months and then they're angry, angry old adults. <laughs> Not that all adults who age are angry, but yeah, they, they turn into the angry ones, yeah. unfortunately. I don't trust cats. Because I have two of them that are very angry sometimes. I don't trust your cats either. But it's something about their eyes. It's like they know more than you do. And they're, they're oh, just I like, know. oh, you pitiful little humans. At like, least my, mm. my personal cats are maybe not everyone's cats. Not the one that I am cats at for last weekend. Yeah. He just has spring fever. That's what his parents told me. Or oh, his, yeah. his human parents told me. Because <laughs> he escaped and they found him oh. a few hours after they got home. But yeah. I was terrified that I lost their cat. But he, he just does that. He escapes because it's getting to spring it isn't yet because yeah. we keep having snow yeah he does he really yeah. wants spring to be here I, I won't i won't give up the notion we make it more snow until like april late april because it's texas and it's crazy and one day it can be 80 degrees and the next day we can have ice and school is canceled so pretty much yeah that's what we've been living in and so at least this area because i know yeah. like san antonio and places south yeah. of us they didn't get any ice yeah. i don't think but they're we live in south. North Texas. Yeah, we, we live in North Texas. Just north so. enough that, yeah. that you get it. Even Dallas. Yeah, my, my dad north. jokes all the time. He he lives an hour south of us, and uh, he's like, you know, how's up north? And I'm like, it's just an hour, but yeah, sometimes it is a difference. Like, we'll mm -hmm. get more ice or snow or cold weather or whatever. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, because, like, I got abandoned at your house for a few days, yeah. and literally... I, cause I, we got abandoned at her parents' house where she was staying at the time. And it was, there's, you know, a highway that I take to go from her house to my house. And literally the halfway point was where it was shut down. So I could get, you know, halfway home in a town where there is one bed and breakfast. <laughs> Probably wouldn't find a place to stay because of all the people that got abandoned there. Maybe and so I just didn't even try. I was like, you know what? God got me as far as he got me. He got me to friends, and yeah. I'm just gonna stay here and go see Frozen a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, we went and saw Frozen twice. It was because there it was were great. no movies. Yeah. Then no. I mean, Frozen was great. It was, yeah, it was we loved Frozen. Movie. But it was it was awful that there was no other movie to see. <laughs> we would have gladly gone to another one. Yeah. But I think everything out was like a horror film or something. Yeah, that stuff so that fine. yeah. We're we're very picky. We mostly watch children movies. Family friendly movies every yeah. once in a while. I mean, like PG 13. Yeah. Yeah, something adventurous. Yeah. You know, with a good story. Oh, certainly, yeah. Yeah, because I think, like, let me think. What all have we Because I want to see Cinderella. That's like PG, though. Yay! I know. Cinderella. And one of the girls at church today was all excited. I mean, okay, she's seven, but she was so excited. She and her family saw Cinderella yesterday, and she was telling me all about it. Oh, great. And I was like, I'm so jealous. I want to go see that. Yeah. So anyway, so what else? Is that all you're knitting on right now? Yes, that's, that's okay. currently. Well, I started a new knitting project, but it's a ripping out project and trying something new project. So I won't yeah. bring that up yet. It's okay. Hold on. I will get to the end of this. Lovely. Well, here, this is one of my whips. I can kind of show it while I'm finishing the row. So this is a socket that I randomly started while I was babysitting the other day because... I was like, I haven't seen that socket I... before. I... Hadn't finished the heel on the sock that I'm going to show you here in a minute, so I didn't have the needles to start the second one. And I don't know why, and I didn't want to sit there while I was, because I knit it while the child was taking a nap, but I didn't want to sit there and start the heel and like end in the middle of like a a row or something. So I just I didn't take that one, and then I goofed up the second sock that I showed y'all last time. I showed you guys the, um, the double gusset socks with the mustache yarn and I um I messed up I made the heel flap on the second sock 
a whole repeat shorter than the first sock. So I realized this in, ri I'm ripping it out, but I, I haven't finished ripping it out, but hold on. So this, I kind of reverse engineered the vanilla bean pattern, which is a free pattern by Emily O'Grady on Ravelry. And you normally knit it from the cuff down, but I wanted to do toe up. And because I really like this rounded catboard eye toe, I've used it on a lot of pairs of socks. And um, I did forget, however, you, so you do this, you slip the stitches between the stripes. And this is mustache yarn, perfect sock, fingering weight base in the sesame colorway. It's a 16 stripe repeat. It is so fun. I love it. It is great for it's this part. Right. I love the color. I love how they're so Mixture, yeah. different. It's so, it's so it's fun. It's very cute. And I so, like your striped socks. They're so, it's like, if you're going to do socks, might as well do fun socks. Exactly. Exactly. But that's our way with it. If you're going to do anything knitted wise, I mean, why do fun. something boring? Yeah, make it fun. So, and like I work with kids, like don't yeah. like them. Actually, I've gotten many compliments on my striped socks at school, so the kids love them. But, um, so I put in the waist yarn for the heel because I'm going to do the Jessica Larson Afterthought a la carte heel. And I forgot to start doing the vanilla bean pattern on the back. So I'm just not doing it on the back. I decided I'll just do it on the front. That's all people will really see anyway. So, you know, it makes my life easier. Hey. You know. And I have learned making your life easier is to really make. Cool. And the reason I also like doing toe up socks when I can is because I make the cuff longer or the leg longer. My next sock I'm going to show you is the mustache double gusset sock. This is sock number oh, one. Yay. Sock number two is in the bag because it's getting ripped out and it doesn't have needles on it right now. Is that a little mustache for the heel? Yeah, yeah. Like the blue is still the mustache. Uh huh. And then this is sesame. See oh, it? Okay. It actually oh, yeah, yeah, lines yeah, yeah. up that way. See? Mm -hmm. And then um, this is Venetian Rainbow and Unicorn Apocalypse from the Unicorn socks Apocalypse. that I had to repair. Um, I like the way it kind of stripes for the heel. That's I really know, cool. Where you get like a rainbow and well, here I'll show you on the other sock. It does the reverse, so it started with the purple and then you got a rainbow. Oh, that's so Isn't cool. That cool. It's so, like you planned it. I know. I just used the same ball because the other ball is like in a tangled mess that's probably oh, just going to yeah. get thrown away. Because I happens. spent like two hours trying to untangle it and I was like, I don't even think if I cut this, yeah. I could salvage it and I'm just frustrated. There was many a Hobby Lobby yarn that I used part of it and then the rest of it ended up in the trash. Yeah. Well, so I wish I, I don't know what's wrong with me. When I do cuff down, I never make them long enough. So you see how long that is. I mean, it doesn't even cover all of the wavy lines on the sock blocker. So here is the sock that is the perfect length. And I did it from the toe up because I made, I made the leg the same length as the foot. And this is a test knit for Laura. I did her heel, which is the Japanese short row heel. She does include directions for two different kinds of afterthought heels. So when that pattern comes out, um, y'all will get to see that. But, um, so I did the Japanese short rows again because I never did them. And I did them on the orange Western Sky Knit socks I showed last time. It's really cool. I like that heel, the way it, it turned it, out. Yeah, because it adds a little extra right there. Yeah. And it fits me a lot better. Oh, that's good. So I like, I like that. But what I like doing now is if I do an afterthought heel at least, or I mean you can do it with a regular heel too, but you just lay them and so you can tell that they're about the same mm -hmm. length. And on this sock, they're not. Aww. It's so sad. I mean, like, they're almost the same length. I just, I it's folded close. it at the wrong spot. And so yeah. it's just not as long as I would like. Because, I don't know. I'm just weird that way, I guess. But this one will be, because I did it toe up. So I'll be able to fold it over and make sure. I'm just going to have to measure it and just keep it in my brain. I mean, it's too late now because I'm on sock number two of the blue ones. But, oh, because, I mean, and this sock, too, it weighs, I could almost do one sock for myself out of half a skein of self-striping. Because it weighs 43.2 grams. And, you know, like, a skein is usually 100 grams. Yeah. So, it's really funny that, like, sometimes I'll do a sock that will weigh, like, 30 grams. And then I'll do one that weighs almost half the skein. Wow. Because my feet are so big, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah we both have pretty big pretty feet. Pretty big feet, yep. 
So that's so those are all my lips, and these are my two FOs, the two socks. So um, what happens when we're tall? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Um, I didn't finish anything else. I didn't do any spinning. Yeah, it's been, I have to it's do my. It's been a while though. since I've done spinning. Yeah, I don't it's know. Nice to kind of get back in the swing of it right before Fiber Fest. I'm yes. gonna try to actually finish this. Not that I probably will, but but at least then you you can bring it with them. Yeah. On it then. So. Not that we won't go to the two of my hand booths like the second we get there, but you know, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, and I'm I need to do my pattern. Yeah, I was already looking at the Fi Dallas Fiber Fest. Um, if you if you haven't heard us talk about it yet. Um, yeah, we should probably mention that. Yeah, uh, we're going next weekend, and they released like the vendors hall and the map, and I was like, okay. So it starts circling places, like we're going here, and we have to yeah. make sure we go here, yep. and and so I was like, okay, what do we need to go first? What's going to sell out first? And so I was like, yeah. okay, we're I know plotting. Jessica likes this place. We're we're definitely going there, and <laughs> just yep. kind of plotting our plotting our way. Yep. through because well, you know some stuff yeah, once it's gone day. it's gone so yeah some stuff will sell out especially like certain like fabrics and project yeah, bags project or bags. certain colorways most of the dars you know know what their popular yeah. ones will be and they'll make sure they stock up on them but some things i mean there's just only so many you can have so. well especially like things like let's see doctor who anything doctor who goes fast yep. um anything harry potter goes pretty fast yeah, well, especially because some places will really only, especially in project bags, like yeah. if they only have two, I mean, they only have two, and that's yeah, all Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, a lot of those types of stuff. Actually, you know, I see more Doctor Who stuff and knitting and all that stuff than any of the other. Yeah, uh, I see a lot. I didn't realize choices. how big Doctor Who was. I didn't. I mean, I'm a Doctor like, Who fan, but I didn't realize. I've heard about Doctor Who for a long time. I've only started watching a little bit of it because of... Cause, well, because I started watching sure. it, was on Amazon Prime. Yeah. But I'd never heard of really a whole lot of Doctor Who. Yeah, and it's been going on for so long, and I'm like, and me and my mom are like total BBC yeah, so fans, really and funny. we're like, how did we not know about this show? We we watched, like, I grew up on Star Trek um, and Star Wars and uh, BBC comedies from the 1960s, so I'm like, and I think exactly. it's the longest How running I, show yeah, not, ever. Not too. get into this, so I blame PBS um, <laughs> that, that they didn't do that because we were constantly watching Masterpiece Theater and Masterpiece Mystery and whatever else. And like, yeah, if, had they had that on there, I would have totally probably become a, an I addict. Can. So um, it's okay if we live together again. Then yeah. then you'll become one. Because I didn't become a Who fan until we quit living together because yeah. we graduated. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. And that's how I became a Lost uh, fan, because that one summer after I graduated, yeah. that's when I watched three, no, three seasons of Lost, we get ready for the last season of Lost, and now I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. the only thing that I got from Lost was, I can say, he was from Lost, she was from Lost, he was from Lost. Yep, she was on like, every show. That's the only show. Uh, productive thing I got out of Lost, because... They killed yeah. off everybody. They killed off everybody, and then they tried to wrap everything up in this all paths lead to heaven chapel thing at the end which i was like yeah really it was it was disappointing yeah let's just say yeah it was very disappointing but at least it was a show that wasn't going to be canceled so they just did one last wrap-up episode it was actually a, a se series that was like all right we're going to end they planned the ending they planned the ending which i'm like after a while, I wish networks would just do that. If they decide they're not going to renew the contract, at least plan the last season to end. Not just or at saying, least give or at least give you an it. episode because yeah, I like, it's like criminal if, mind suspect behavior. We yeah. don't know who died. I decided the girl <laughs> didn't die because I liked her. Yeah. I, I a, hope all of you are cool with that. Glass half kind of person. No, yeah, they didn't die. Well, because if if she so. lived, the guy was gonna have to kill somebody else. Yeah. And so it was quite, it was kind of sad because he was going to have to violate his own moral code to save her, but I decided he did because I liked the main character who was the girl. Oh, but yeah. they never, even on like regular Criminal Minds, I was like, well, they could like do an episode where we happen to see her walking, yeah. walk, walking in, around Oh, they the do FBI. that all the time with different shows, yeah. But they didn't. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. They need to because some of us would really like some closure on that. Yeah. But, you know. So let's see. So here, we're going to talk about some more about Deep. W Fiber Fest. So there is a podcaster meetup on Saturday at 1 p.m. and I do not remember where it is. It's in the podcasters 
there's there is some thread in the DFW Ravelry group, like the DFW Fiberfest Ravelry group, that says like attention podcasters. And somewhere in there, I believe somebody picked a destination for this. I believe it will be at the convention center. I want to say that's where it's going to be, but it could totally be at the main hotel. I don't know. But it'll be at 1, and we plan to be there, at least for a little bit. I don't know. They said they would do it at 1, so people who had class at 2 or 2.30 would be able to go to their classes. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's just like, you know, come in and, and meet other people kind of who yeah. do podcasts. But we'll be there, so come say hi. please. And if you just see us. Like sitting in the little center, you know, spinning or knitting or chatting or, you know, in a vendor. And you want to say hi to us, you know, say hi. Yeah. We love being people. Yeah. And you knit or spin or crochet or you got dragged there by a friend. And, you know, we love to meet people. Let's see here. What else? Um, I am taking a class. I'm taking Thick and Thin, comma Coils with JC Boggs on Friday afternoon. So if you're in that class, yeah, we'll be in a class together. I already found out someone in the Two of My Hand group is in that class with me. So oh, I'm very excited to meet some yay. of my Two of My Hand people. That's cool. I am not taking a class, but I will be walking around and talking to people. And Yeah, so you'll be hanging out. I'll be hanging out. We'll be having fun. I'm only taking one this year. I might, because some of the JC Boggs classes are still open. They like reopened them all, and so I might take the one on Sunday, but it's all day, and I still haven't decided if I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, if you if you haven't uh, done DFW Fiberfest and you didn't try to sign up for a class, there was a lot of issues. With yes, classes. but they did have a lot of people um, drop so, out. But of some. I think they did. I think they did well, even with all the issues of getting everyone. Oh, they did. They were such well. nice. They were people. so nice, and um, because it, it was really a technology thing. It was nothing really on their part. It was we're trying something new and. Well, whenever you try something new, everyone. it just didn't, it doesn't always work out, so. Yeah, but the the volunteers are super, super yeah. sweet. If you see them, you know, say hey or tell them they're they, awesome. Yeah, thank tell them, them for all their, their work. They they really do put a lot of work into the, the Fiber Fest. They do. Oh, they do. And they're just the nicest people. Like, when I was trying to get into a class, like, I mean, they were just so sweet. Mm -hmm. so sweet about helping me out. And, like, last year, I, my mom is really good friends with the lady who used to run it. Mm -hmm. And um, and we still see her. I mean, we we met her and, and we yeah. went to her house in Fort Worth. And yeah. she's just super super sweet. Yes. So they're all just super nice people. So if you see them, say hi and you know give them a hug because I'm sure they're gonna be exhausted. Yes, I'm sure everyone's gonna be exhausted. Everyone's exhausted by the end of but it. But it'll be fun. And we are going to Stephanie Pearl McPhee's talk on Yay. Thursday night. It's gonna be hilarious. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'll be crying because I'll be laughing so hard. Yeah, she's. She's so, a riot. Yeah, she, she's I have her riot. book. I may have to bring it with her to try to yes, get Yes, you need it. to bring it so she can sign it. I'll have an autographed copy. That would be yeah. kind of cool. And I'm sorry for those of you who've watched this podcast before, and or if you're new, you know, you see this like blank wall behind us. We usually sit in a different room with a pretty quilt behind us that my mom made, and the lighting in there was awful. Like you wouldn't have been able to see us. So we're in this room today. Let me think. I can't think of anything else. Oh, my aunt, well, this is kind of random, but my aunt will be at Fiber Fest. So my mom and my aunt mm -hmm. and my friend will all be there. So you'll get to meet, like, my whole family if you, you know, see me at a restaurant probably or, I don't know, sitting with people that look like me. Yeah. Because my aunt is even the person who taught me how to knit, which is kind of crazy. I know. I wish Miss Claire, she, uh, she was this lady this that taught us how to, uh, or taught me how to knit in college and... I would love her to come, and we keep every time we see her, we're like, "You should come to Fiber Fest and see us." And uh, so one day maybe she'll come. But um, one thing I did want to kind of show off: um, I did uh, redesign my spinning wheel, um, and I painted it um, and I stained it. And I find out I like to paint. Painting is fine, but I will never stain wood again um, if I can help it. Yeah. But. Um, I was well, gonna then, kinda... How about what we do then is after I'll just I'll redo the camera yeah. and just point yes it. exactly yeah okay. I was like how do you so do after that? this but, yeah. like portion in the podcast which you will all see mm -hmm. um, because it's pretty informal is I'll add an additional segment and we'll and Mandy will show off her yeah. wheel so y'all can um, see it because it's it's really cool what she did it used to be my wheel if y'all have seen some people might have seen the wheel before mm -hmm. where they there's like a picture I think on my project page of my wheel because I yeah. painted it purple so it's it got a total makeover yeah 
It matches your fiber too. It does. It's so cool. All right, so um, you want to show your finished yeah, objects? Yeah, I'll show my finished objects. Um, so first of all was my big blue shawl. Um, it's a triangle shawl. It's simply soft, and I just it it grew and grew. <laughs> But um, I striped it and it's it's so pretty. And the yarn that I used it for was um, you got that at Fiberfest last year, didn't you? Yes, I did. So how fitting! You'll get to wear it. I will that, get to wear it. I didn't even think of that in Fiberfest this week. Oh, that'll be so fun. Yeah. And it was freezing in the vendor hall if I recall last it year. It was. It was big. I was. Um, so bring a coat if you're going. Bring a coat. Or and a or a knitted shawl or a sweater yeah. or something. Here I'll help so, you show it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's really big. It's really nice. I get to wrap up all in it. And I've wanted a big shawl for a while, so yeah, um, it wasn't that nice. massive of a project. But um, I got it. Um, all this, uh, all these blues and grays from Knitting Notions, um, and this is their uh, merino lace. Um, and the colors were uh, stone gray, winter sky. Um, I think it was just. Uh, Winter sky, blue sky, and night sky. Um, so yeah, it was really pretty. I liked the way they turned out, and and it was my first striped project. Um, so so that was the first time you ever changed colors. First time I changed colors. Cool. I did pretty good. Every once in a while, I forgot to carry over the yarn, so there was some finishing I had to <laughs> quickly yeah, do. Okay. But, to the best of us. Uh, and then the other project I did was I did this cowl and it was called the Mystique Lace Cowl. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Oh, ah, did it get caught? Okay. Oh, no. Um I'll have to fix that later. Oh no. But uh Sorry. it's uh firewood uh, merino lace from Madame Tosh. Mm -hmm. Um and I didn't realize it was going to get so big, <laughs> but I, I get to wrap it up on my, uh, like, maybe even yeah. three times. <laughs> like, as you can kind of see, I get to wrap it up quite a bit, um, but I really liked it, and um, on my Ravelry page, uh, you can see pictures, and when I took pictures when it was all snowing and icy outside, so the colors really pop um, on that, so you're welcome to look at those pictures, but that's all my finished projects. Um, besides, I do have um, some stuff I spun. This is Regeneration. Um, yeah, I finished it. Um, but just buy two of my hand as well. Um, and it's actually, pro I'm, getting, I'm getting closer to consistency. Um, you can't see very well, but um, I, I saw some chunkiness in my stuff near like some it looks spring weight. Though. But it's pretty. Um, it's yeah, soft. Yeah, so, it's so really soft. soft. And it's Polworth, right? Yeah. I love that fiber. Yeah, and it's polar. And I haven't washed it yet, so once I yeah. wash it, it'll even be softer. Yeah. But that's that's it. I don't I haven't done tons. It's okay. Um, you were gone for a week. Uh, yeah, I was gone for a week and I did do knitting but uh, as you saw it was it's still going. <laughs> yeah. Well you needed more so. markers for that. Yeah, more markers. yeah, I had to get more markers. So do you have anything? I don't think I have anything else. Okay. Um, random side note. Um, I'm friends with Free Flower, who is Stacy of Mustache Yarn um, on Ravelry. And um, she will be at Fiverr Fest with a booth called the Mustache Yarn booth. Mm -hmm. And she sells, like, this yarn and this Yeah, yarn. lots of and, um And she's cooling. asked me to bring um, my crazy socks to be a shop, like, let her put on display. Mm -hmm. So they'll be there if you like want to see them or want to look at her stuff for some ideas if you like this idea. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, so I use the, these two were from leftovers, but she does sell little mini skeins because you've got yes. some too in yeah. Bernie. And um, so she sells like little leftover bits by the weight and I don't know, they're, you know, for every so many grams, it's so many dollars. Yeah. Um, but if you don't want to have to buy, you know, a whole skein, you want a bunch of different little ones. They're really um, cute for, like, stuffed animals or, like, finishing you know. projects. Or, of course, if you do socks, like, heels and toes. Yeah, or you can even do, like, mitts. I don't know. I mean, I'm yeah. sure people I'm sure there's lots of things. Yeah, depending on, like, what size of mustache you get. Because um, yeah. she has, like, there's Yosemite Sam's, like, one of the biggest ones, and then they have, like, Charlie Chaplin, which is... Yeah, they all have really cute little... names, which Mustache, is adorable, by so the cute. way. Yeah, that was so... Cute. I forgot about that. Yeah. The so. mustache. Yeah. 
We're excited, but we wanted to uh, do a video before Fiverr Fest, and then we'll probably do one after yeah. to kind of show all there'll our, be a, there'll be our a goodies. Lot of enabling after. So yeah, yeah, there will be a lot of enabling when we get yeah. there. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's okay. We've been saving our pennies. We have. I've actually saved my Waldo, and I've cashed him in. Oh yeah, so I've been saving mine. We well, Wenda or whatever her Wilma. name is. Wilma. Or Wilma. Oh, no. I don't remember her what name. Have you named I was trying to make her Waldo and okay, her piggy bank is Waldo from Where is Waldo and and she's had him since college and I decided to get one because she always puts her leftover change in him. And so I got one and I wanted it to be Waldo's girlfriend because yes. we saw like little miniature ones and I was like, Oh my gosh, those are her children because <laughs> I'm weird like that and I just thought it would be funny. So, um, I think Wenda is Wenda. his girlfriend's oh, name, no. or Wendy, something Waldo like that. And Wenda. So, so technically that's my piggy bank's name. I don't, I don't know. So it's time. But to I put a lot bank. of my money I made this summer from swim lessons oh, in there, so I have yes. to go cash that. Yeah, I gotta go cash it. I need it. to go to Coinstar or whatever yep. this week. Yep. So you know. So anyway, so one more thing, and I, okay. I believe the Nick girls they do this, and I think it's cool that they promote reading on their podcast. So I wanted to do it too. Okay. So are you reading anything right now? Well, I just finished The Princess Bride, and then because I went to Harry Potter World, guess what I'm starting to read? I'm reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, okay. So you're gonna start over, over again. So I'm starting them all over again. The wonder and the magic and the loveliness. So I'm on the very first chapter. So Harry is getting dropped off. A little the, baby. At the Dursleys. Unfortunately, we know yeah. what happened at the Dursleys. I know. But, I just uh, wanted to smack him. I didn't really want anything bad to happen to him. I just wanted to smack him. Yeah. I just wanted to hit him once and be like, be a real person. Yeah, and it's it's a credit to J.K. Rowling to, that she writes those characters that you're just you're so angry at that you're just like you want to reach into that book and just like Strangle shake them. them or, Same with or Professor Umbridge. You wanted her to die. I Sorry. wanted her to die more than Voldemort. And that's saying something that oh. I, I wanted an, another character to die that wasn't the main villain. I um, know. She was so cruel. Yeah. She was awful. And to be awful, honest, awful. I was scared more of Bellatrix Lestrange than I ever was of Voldemort. Voldemort was like this gentlemanly villain that he killed you, but he killed you because he had a purpose to killing you. Bellatrix was like... I'm going to play with you and and, and torture you, and torture you. you, and I'm just crazy, and I'm going to laugh and spin about, and uh, which was an mm. awesome character. And uh, Helen Booth and Carter did an amazing job at her because I was terrified of her. Mm. Um, she was but yeah, though. she she scares me much more <laughs> than any other villain. So it'll be nice when I get to where she comes into the books and kind of remember her based off you know having seen the movies now. So, yeah, that's what I'm reading right now, Harry Potter. Good time. What are you reading? Well, besides textbooks, which aren't that exciting to read, but um, I'm reading, it's a series by Cinder Williams Chima, and it is, I forget what the technical name of the series is. It's like the Air series or something. Um, <laughs> so I'm reading book number four, which is called The Enchanter Air. So but I'm seeing fantasy? Yes, yes, okay. it is a fantasy book, and it's in this world of... So there's the onware, if I'm even saying that word right, which are the like those those are the regular people that don't have magic. Usually it's in movies that you find out. Oh, I've been how saying to pronounce that wrong. It. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think that's how everyone figured out how to say Hermione Granger's name. Because yeah. <laughs> we called her Hermione for the longest time, and there were people at school that argued with me that you called her Hermione, and I knew it wasn't Hermione, but I didn't think it was Hermione. But that was what my mom yeah, told me. I called her Hermione. Yeah, poor like Hermione. Harmony. Yeah, I, oh, we should have just called her Herm Harmony or something instead and just yeah. figured it out later. But anyway, so the Onware are the non-magic people. And of course, it's all about the magic games. people. Yeah. And they have these stones inside of them. And your stone tells you what kind of powers you have. And like, it's genetic, I believe. Oh, that's cool. I want to say it's genetic. I don't know what happens if someone who's you know a warrior and someone who's a sorcerer has a kid. I could not tell you. The world. Will I end. think you're supposed to marry people <laughs> that are the same as you, but I could totally be wrong. But you'd, you know, I've, I haven't read out. the first three books in yeah. forever because they've been going on for a while. But um, so there's the the warrior era is the very first one. Yes. 
And then the second one is the wizard oh, yeah, air. I, and the I third one this. is the yeah, dragon yeah, air. Yeah. And then now we're on the enchanter air. And so you have a stone and it, it gives you magical abilities and you know, you go on an adventure. And this one, all of her main characters, and I love the letter J, you know, my name is Jessica, obviously yeah. I like the letter J. All of the main guy characters, all their names start with J. The problem is I get them confused. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, I think the first book we had Jack, then we had a Joseph, and then we had a Jacob, I think. And then we had a Jessamine. So we actually had a girl, but she was like an older woman who, who was, I think, not a good, I don't know. She was a good guy and then she was a bad guy. I forget now. And then now we have a Jonah. <laughs> and then I think there was a Jeremy or a Jerome or somebody. I don't know because I've forgotten. So I really need to go back and read the other books. But I really wanted to read this one because the cover was purple and it's called The Enchanter. And we both, we both write books and, uh. I, I'm on. We work. write chapters of books, or at least I write chapters of books. You actually write books. I write books. I um, write chapters. And I was, we were spring break, and I had my my little iPad, and I was, you know, editing away, and I was kind of like, Dad, is it a bad thing if I forget a character's name that I created? No, nope, <laughs> Dad was like, It's not. Well, how many characters do you have in this book? I was like, A lot. Thirty. <laughs> He's like, No, no, it's good. He's like, If you had two, that'd be sad. But he's like, 30, I think you're okay. And I was like, good. Because I was like, I had to go back to my character cheat sheet and be like, who is this character? What's his name? Because it, it's one, it's the main bad guy's name. Um, and it's changed like six or seven times. So I was like, I don't remember which version of the name I decided to go with. But uh, because it, it, was, it had to be, it had to be sounding like it's a bad guy's name, but it could be like. I'm obviously obviously the bad guy. The bad guy. So, because um, like for the first half of the book, you don't even know his name because my character doesn't know his name. He's just this random guy that keeps attacking, um, mm -hmm. and then she, you know, finds out more about him and all that stuff. But that because he's for a long time he's just the soldier. And so, um, but yeah, with when you're writing, um, I always do try to keep it where I don't have like a lot of J's or a lot of A's or a lot of B's, which. When you have a lot of characters, you have a huge cast, um, yeah. it, it, it gets hard. So I, I do, you know, pull out there for like the Game of Thrones, um, and like how he's able to keep, you know, all of them not sounding like an A name or a B name or yep. a C name. Um, so. I know. I guess that's her thing. I mean, that's yeah. cool. That can be your thing. Yeah. I love the books, yeah. but I, I get them confused. Yeah. I think in the, the last Saruman one. and Sauron. <laughs> oh, I know. Right? Like oh my gosh. <laughs> We're like, who is this again? She, who's Jen? Yeah. Or um, visually, the uh, what was it? The host and the two main guys, and we're like, they look so similar. I can't tell oh, who are yeah, you like again. Oh yeah, like in the movie, and who then you got you confused. Again? Which cute guy was was the guy that Melanie was dating? Yeah, which cute was, guy was the guy that Ma was like, Wanda was dating? When you dating, wear the same look, colors, the same. when you have the same haircut, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I, I'm lost. Who are you kissing, and is it bad or is it good? Yeah. So like, I guess if yeah, I do, happening. I do try to kind of notice those things and, you know, sometimes it does happen and, um, I think, you know, readers figure it out after a while, but it, it, I do try to, you know, keep my readers from getting confused. Yeah. Yeah. Cause when I was reading the third book, all of the original J guys, they all get together and they team up. Yeah. And so you have to, and, and when they use like their different abilities, you can figure out, okay, the guy with the fire is the wizard one. Okay. I got you. I got you. You, you have a sword you're fighting with her. Yeah. You're, you're Jack or whoever, yeah. you know, you can keep them straight. But then like the one guy ran off by himself and then the other guy found him and then they were fighting and one of them died. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh which gosh, one died? <laughs> which one, <laughs> which one are you? Yeah. And so, yeah, it was, it was complicated, yeah. but Hopefully, hopefully, most of the characters in this one have different letters. So I'm playing keep them straight. That's good. Because, I mean, it is because it's, because it's, you know, like this whole underground, you know, magical society. There's a lot of characters and a lot of names to keep straight. But, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see if we run into the all the J's from the original books. I'll just be screwed. Yeah. But, you know, it'll work out. Cool. It'll be fun. But, yes, they're by Cinder Williams Trim, and I highly recommend them. They're, they're so good. They really are. I like her. Um, is she a YA or yeah, just? Okay. Yeah, it's like a young adult. I mean, they would. They I think would, I've seen they them would in be the appropriate YA. for yeah. you know middle school and a. Uh, cool, cool. I think that's when I. I think I started reading them in high school. Is when they came out. 
And so we had the three, and then she came out with another series, which I have. I just haven't started. It's the yeah, um, we have mini books on our bookshelf. The Seven that Realms started. series, and it starts oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. the mm -hmm. Demon King, the Exile mm -hmm. Queen. There's like four books I think in that one. Then there's the Crimson Crown and the Great Wolf Throne. Yes, I yeah. think those are all of them. Unless she comes out with more, I suppose. But those, all of hers, I believe, are are young adults. So they would be, you know, sixth grade on that probably. Mm -hmm. So oh, cool. They're fun. They're they're fun, fun, fun. Awesome. But anyway, so we will be going Fire Fest this week. And, you know, if you see us, come check us out. And I believe. I believe that's everything. That's everything. So, um, so thank you for watching us again. All right. And we will talk to you all next next week when we get back. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.